What's up, everyone? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined this morning by Daniel Starkin. And, and this is kind of the beginning of something we're going to try here on this channel called Dodger Heads Daily, where every morning by about 10 a.m., you're going to have a video in your feed that's going to recap the game the night before, give a little preview of the game that afternoon or evening, as well as talk about the biggest storylines that we got going on. So, Daniel, thanks for being here. I mean, Dodgers, nice to see them get a bounce back win yesterday after dropping two out of three in Chicago. Definitely. Um, obviously, um, you know, you, you don't want to lose two out of three in Chicago the way they did, but there were other factors at play. Um, I do. I definitely have a bone to pick with the MLB schedule <laughs> makers for making the Dodgers go to Chicago and Minnesota in the beginning of April. It should be the opposite. They should be coming to L.A. where the weather is beautiful today and they don't have to play in 40 degree weather or whatever it is, long rain delays. Um, you know, that's that's not baseball. So let, let's either get domes on those stadiums or have them come to Southern California in April. Yeah, I'm with you. And, and it sounds like Dave Roberts, Mookie Betts, among others, are also very much with you. That game yesterday, the Dodgers, like we said, come away with a win, a 4-2 victory over the Twins. Uh, this was a game the Dodgers jumped out to an early lead. Then it looked like it might be the Manuel Margot revenge game for <laughs> his uh, short tenure as a Dodger. He hits a two-run home run. But Will Smith, who's hitting 400, ties the game. And then the big swing of the day was James Outman. This is a guy that I think was getting um, ridiculed, uh, to say the mm -hmm. least, on social media, in some private group chats, potentially. And he comes away with the big home run to put the Dodgers ahead. Otani hits the the another home run um, to give the Dodgers a 4-2 lead. The other storyline here, James Paxton, six innings, three hits, one walk, four strikeouts, two earned runs. So overall, uh, just a really positive sort of clean your mouth out game I felt like for the Dodgers yeah definitely and and we we know like the guys at the top of the order have been producing we know like some of the guys at the top of the rotation have been producing so far this season so it's good to see some of the guys you know the bottom of the order guys like James Outman a, a back of the rotation guy like Paxton for them to contribute yeah. to to a win the way they did um, is good to see. And I, I know the stats haven't necessarily been great for Outman and some of some of the other guys at the bottom of the order, like they've yeah. really struggled. But I think it is important to note we're still really early here. And specifically with a guy like Outman, like we saw uh, last season, like the guy is a streaky hitter. Like he goes through his hot streaks. He goes through his cold streaks. But what he did show last year is that he could come out of it and and, and show that he is, a, you know, a big league everyday type player. So um, it was good to see him him get one there. And then, of course, Otani adds the insurance. So just just a great win overall. Yeah, and Otani's the big story that I want to talk about today because this guy's last five games have been insane. 11 for 22 with eight extra base hits over mm -hmm. those last five. I believe he has at least two hits in all five. He adds a third hit yesterday, his home run. Just yesterday alone, three hits, two doubles, and a home run was his day. For I mean, and, and the double that he hit to center field was an absolute laser. The guy is... Mm -hmm smoking the ball everywhere. Daniel, I thought this was interesting. Fabian Ardaya had a piece up at The Athletic, and he told a little anecdote um, about that game in Chicago. Maybe there's a benefit here to this game in Chicago. They're in a rain delay. Nobody knows what to do. Everybody's milling around. Um, Otani basically decides that he's going to go fiddle around in the cage because he's bored. Um, so this is the way that uh, that Ardaya says it. He said, Otani rummaged through the hitting coach's equipment bag, emerging with a hybrid that had a handle of his typical bat, but the wider, flatter barrel of a cricket bat. He placed a baseball on the tee and began taking swings. The idea was to emphasize his bat path, keeping a flatter swing through the zone to maximize his thunderous finish. Uh, he ends up liking it. And then obviously he's been on fire since James Outman says that he thinks um, that little drill that Otani, I guess, sort of invented may have helped him get his bat path right on the home run. So th this guy is just, I've said it before, he's as advertised and then some. Yeah. Well, for, first thing I want to say is that this this is a pretty popular drill, I'd say. Like, I did it in high school. I did it a little in college. So um, it, it's not something Otani necessarily invented. Like, I think there are a lot of guys that use cricket bats at, to help with their bat path just because it's flat on two sides, which means, like, the curvy points are just kind of on either side. Mm -hmm. And if you want to actually hit the ball, you have to hit it on those small parts. So your bat path pretty much has to be perfect because if you flip, if you hit it on the flat part of the bat, the ball's not going to go anywhere. So that's yeah. it's a good drill to tell you, um, you know, if you're lined up mechanically. And Otani was pretty honest to start the season that his mechanics were kind of off uh, hitting wise. And that's why, you know, we saw him hitting, you know, pulling a lot of ground balls, you know, getting under balls. Um, and, and now in the last few days, 11 for 22 with eight extra base hits, we've seen him 
going to all fields. You mentioned that double he smoked to center yeah. yesterday. Like that, that just looks like a fly ball. And then it just keeps going over the center fielder's head. And then he goes oppo, you know, to left field for a home run. So I, I think he's kind of similar to Freddie Freeman in that when you see him going to all fields and, and going to all fields with power, yeah. that's when you know he's right. And obviously 11 for 22 with extra base hits, the guy's right at the moment. So it's, it's, it's fun to watch. Um, I, You know, he got that first homer out of the way and that he kind of took off from there which yeah. I think a lot of us, you know, kind of predicted would happen. Like the guy's too good of a hitter to to, to struggle for that long. So, um, you know, it's been fun to watch. Obviously, you got you still got Mookie at the top. Um, he, he was kind of the victim of some, some rough strike calls yesterday. But when you have him going right, Otani going right, and Freddie going right, not to mention Will Smith has like one of the highest batting averages yeah. in the league right now. Um, you know, that's that's a scary top four to face. And then if you could get some of the guys going at the bottom too, then, you know, watch out. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, by the way, Otani five for his last nine, all five are extra base hits. So it's two doubles, uh, three doubles, a triple and a home run. So uh, insane stuff from uh, from Otani there. Um, lastly, let's talk about today's game back in Minnesota. Another weird one, 440 West Coast start. Uh, Tyler Glass now takes the mound for the Dodgers against Louis Varland, not Gus Varland, Louis Varland um, for the Twins. Dodgers heavy favorites, minus 192 on the money line, uh, minus 190, depending on where you look. Uh, Glass now 2-0 and on the season, 3.18 ERA, but a .88 whip. Good news for the Dodgers. Varland has a whip of two. So is this another game like yesterday, Daniel, where you're kind of expecting that the Dodgers shouldn't have any trouble scoring some runs? Yeah, I mean, uh, with, with this team, that's pretty much every game. But yeah, I mean, when outside of like Pablo Lopez on that twin staff, they should be able to to do well with every guy. I think um, Bailey Ober actually pitched pretty well yesterday. Yeah. They took him out after five for whatever reason. And I think everyone in that Dodger dugout was saying thank you at that point. But yeah, this, this is a great chance for them to come out and score some runs and also get some length from Glass now. He's, he's looked good to start the season. And um, you know, whenever the Dodgers have gotten like five, six innings out of their starters, they've pretty much won every game. Like it's when yeah. guys have struggled or they've done a bullpen game. That's when they've we've seen them lose the few games they've lost this year. And the offense has been pretty consistent throughout. So, yeah, I think you could expect another big day offensively. Obviously, we just talked about Otani. He's locked in right now. Let's see how many yeah. more extra base hits he could get today. Um, so, so, yeah, I mean, it should be another Dodger win. Um, and we're going to be sitting here you know, almost every morning, probably saying that most days yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's not going to happen every day, but, but yeah, I mean, I like the, the way the bats are going right now. Um, and obviously glass now on the mound is, is a recipe for success. Yeah. One of my props that I like just looking through this, and this is a, a prop I've mentioned on our show before, but Tyler glass now to record a win is plus plus one twenty. So again, if you're thinking, can glass now get us at least five innings, the over under on outs is 16 and a half. So there, the projection is for him to go five and change, but if he goes five, and the Dodgers can get runs off of Varland, um, that feels like a good one. So if you don't want to lay the minus 190 on the money line, you want to do plus 120 glass now to get the win could be an interesting one there. So thanks everybody for joining us again. Check out our channel every morning for a Dodger heads daily tonight, by the way, Scott and Matt will be doing a live post game show after um, the game. So stay tuned here for details on if that's going to be like seven o'clock or a little bit later, I think they're going to do around eight o'clock. So, Stay tuned here, and, and we'll see you again tomorrow morning for more of these. That is Daniel Starkin. I am Jeff Spiegel. Enjoy the rest of your day, folks. And as always, go Dodgers.